Hello awesome people, welcome to smartphone tutorials. One of the most exciting custom ROMs, Resurrection Remix has just been ported to the Redmi Note 4. Let's see how this baby rocks. Here we go. Alright guys, welcome. So just a little background on things we need. Obviously, 50% battery, a USB cable, a Redmi Note 4, back up all your data because it's going to be erased, and you need to have an unlocked bootloader. Team Win Recovery or TWRP should be flashed on your phone. And in case you want to know how to go about doing that, follow the link in the description and watch that video. Now let's begin flashing the newest ROM for the Redmi Note 4. Here we go. So, considering that you've downloaded the files from the description and kept it in your internal memory, wipe Dalvik system and data and cache from TWRP. And as always, from TWRP, install the ROM first. That's a resurrection remix file. And while this is being flashed, let me tell you this is a test build. So don't expect a lot, but for a test drive, this baby rocks. Now next up, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and flash Google Apps so that obviously you can have access to Play Store. Now this is a Pico version, so just the Play Store and Play Services are included. For everything else, you can just download it. Just go ahead and reboot into system. The first boot may take three to five minutes, so please be patient and enjoy the beautiful boot animation. Once the setup is done and you know you're greeted by the home screen, you will notice that this ROM is very minimalistic. Root access is working. I would say 80 to 85% of the features on this ROM are fully functional as of now. Talking about Geo users, we don't have voice over LTE yet, but it should be fixed in a build or two. Now Omni switch is working flawlessly as you can see on the screen and the settings menu looks beautiful as always. Now, the smoothness on this ROM is something else. I mean, I did use Lineage OS for a few days, but then again, this is a little more smooth. Themes are working. The camera is working, but the quality is not the best. The only thing that you know gets me so excited about this particular ROM is the amount of features it has. I mean, this is something which should be a primary skin or a ROM for a device manufacturer someone like Micromax or you know somebody should do that because this ROM deserves to be on a lot more devices from factory as you can look at the screen you know status bar icon colors battery bar carrier label you name a customization and you have it in resurrection remix Now, as you can see, I've changed the theme and, you know, it looks all black and looks beautiful. So just look at the configuration. This is the amount of customizations this particular firmware allows you to do from the status bar to quick settings. Everything, you know, can be customized and that's just amazing. Now, fingerprint scanner, I was not able to get working on this particular ROM, but I should tell you if you're someone who would like to test drive it This is definitely worth a try because calls are working using geo4g voice and you know for other carriers It's not a problem at all So if you have a Redmi Note 4 with the unlocked bootloader and you're itching to give this particular ROM a try Go ahead and give it a shot. It's worth the effort. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. And from the looks of it, the future for this device looks bright. So you saw it first on smartphone tutorials. Like, share, subscribe and comment below. Goodbye. See you again.